and I am the curry bowl. And what I do is all South Indian influenced style curries from places like Goa, Kerala, Madras and I sell them as a ready meal to places like delis, farmers markets, farm shops in the local area in Cornwall, in West Cornwall. All my products are locally sourced, so I use um, local meat, I use free range chicken and locally sourced fish. Everything's cooked from scratch and it's all made with recipes passed down the family from my nan to my mum to me. We've all tweaked them a little bit along the way. that we've got here first are locally sourced Falmouth Bay rope mussels and then we've got a whole array of different spices and fresh ingredients. Here at the front you've got black mustard seeds then turmeric powder, coriander powder, cumin, fresh green chilli, garlic, root ginger, curry leaves and tamarind pulp. And over here on the fresh ingredients we've got shallots, tomatoes and fresh coriander. And the liquid for the dish is the coconut milk and to mop up all the juices at the end you've got the lovely local leopard loaf as well. So what we're going to do is peel a couple of cloves of garlic, about an inch of ginger and prepare the chilli by chopping the head off it and then those will later go in my little mooly mincer here which I will mince straight into the dish as I'm cooking it. very very finely because you don't want very sharp oniony taste in the finished dish and I'd say for a kilo of mussels you do need one or two small shallots like this or a small onion. Next we need a couple of tomatoes I've got some nice local plum tomatoes which are in season at the moment and again just chop these up fairly finely into a small dice and Finally, we've got the fresh coriander. Now, you can use as much or as little of this as you like. Personally, I like a lot of coriander at the end because it adds a really nice fresh flavour. So bunch it all up. And again, not too finely, quite roughly. Chop it up, including the stalks, because the stalks give it a really nice flavour. So don't chuck away the stalks. So that's the fresh coriander all done and now all we've got left to do are the mussels. Now because they're rope mussels they don't need too much preparation, usually just a bit of a rinse. And if you find any that have any beards or barnacles on, like that one, just give them a quick scrape with a sharp knife and rinse them and make sure that they're all closed. If any are open, discard them. vegetable or sunflower oil in a something like a wok, something that's got a, a lot of surface area and that's going to cook it quickly, a bit like when you do a stir fry. As soon as the oil starts to heat up, you add the black mustard seeds that we talked about earlier. As soon as they start to spit, we add some of the curry leaves. As soon as they start to sizzle, you add your shallot. Now what you want is for those to just start to cook. You don't want them to go too crispy. And that's when you add your garlic, your ginger, and your green chilies. Just 
take that off the heat just for a little while. This is where I add a little bit of turmeric and the spices, the cumin and the coriander. This will take seconds, especially on this kind of a heat, so don't keep it there for long. As soon as you start to smell those, you add your tamarind pulp. Coconut milk. Wait for that to start bubbling. And straight in mussels. A quick stir and then pop the lid straight on. Now that should only need about two or three minutes and as soon as they open you just add the coriander and the tomatoes.